Hello everyone, this is David from Automotive Press. I am just so excited to continue talking about 2023 Toyota 4Runner. I used to own quite a few of them. In fact, I own six different 4Runners between 2016 and 2019. Everything from TRD Pro to a Limited to a Nightshade. And we had to change many of those cars over to a RAV4 Prime just because of what we want to save some gas lately. But I'm missing the 4Runner. And even though I now have a 2021 Tacoma TRD Pro, I actually think that the 4Runner is a better fit for me. So I've already placed a deposit on the 2023 4Runner. I'm pretty sure I'm the first person in North America. So I should be able to get it as soon as the 4Runner comes out which is likely fall of 2022 calendar year as a 2023 model year. And as you know, in my channel, I've been talking about uh, Forerunner. So uh, please take a look at one of my previous videos where I talk about the engine choices and so forth. But for now, I wanted to show you my new rendering. Uh, so I've been working on it a little bit more and I got lots of feedback from all of you about the previous rendering, which is really helpful. So in my previous video, I showed a number of different rendering that I created. Uh, so I showed two different versions of the front end and two different versions of the rear design. And so the front end uh, was either Land Cruiser focused design or one that looks more like the upcoming 2022 Tundra. And in the rear, I showed you these two. One was more like a Land Cruiser again in the rear. And then the second one, I took some inspiration from Toyota Ford Tuner, which is only sold in Asia, Middle East, and Australia. And, uh, and a lot of people actually like that one. I think maybe more than half of you said that you prefer the Ford Tuner rear design more so than the Land Cruiser rear design. So, um, so you like the Land Cruiser front design, but you prefer the Ford Tuner rear design. And so I was thinking maybe for the rear, I could combine the Land Cruiser look and the Ford Tuner look to come up with a kind of hybrid. So here it is. This is my newest render for the rear of the 2023 Forerunner. It's neither quite Land Cruiser nor is it the Fortuner. It's sort of my own uh, inspiration, I guess, combining the two together. So what do you think? Do you like this one better? It's got two new rear taillight design, which is bold and has a very expressive feel. But I also have a kind of bar connecting the two tail lights to give it a modern touch, much like what we saw in the Fortuner. So let me know if you like this new rear tail light design compared to my previous one, which was again a Land Cruiser inspired look, like this one here, or the Fortuner inspired look which is this one here. I was never quite happy with the Ford Tuner one, even though most of you, I think, liked it, just because it kind of looked awkward. So this new rendering I've created, hopefully, might be closer to the real 2023 Forerunner's design. Uh, also, I made sure that the rear window was nice and small so that, technically speaking, uh, you can now roll down the rear window, which is something all of you guys say you don't want to lose in the Forerunner. I'm pretty sure they're not gonna let that one go. I did modify the rendering, so physically speaking, it's possible to roll down that window in the very back, which is unique to Forerunner. In terms of front, I made some more modification. I kept the Land Cruiser design, which again, almost all of you liked better than the Tundra look. And I made it look a little bit more rugged by uh, darkening and blackening out the uh, C-pillar a little bit more and tweaking a little bit of design here and there so it has more of the Jeep Wrangler or Bronco kind of feel now, a little bit more rugged and off-road capable. So let me know in the comments below, should, did I go too far with the blacked out uh, roof? Should I put back the body colored roof and, and not black out the uh, the C pillar and the roof. You let me know what you think. I think it kind of looks cool. Uh, I also played around with a little bit more with the front and side panel as well. Uh, so this is my latest rendering. We got obviously more than a year to work with this. And as soon as I get some uh, real spy photos from Japan, because most likely that's where it's gonna come from uh, since the uh, Forerunner is built in Japan, I will modify my rendering to try to make it as accurate as possible. For now, these renderings were created based on my own experience and my investigation and everything I know about the Forerunner and, and what uh, Toyota designers might be thinking about in the future. Uh, so obviously these renderings is going to change as we get some more input or spy photos from Japan. So again, let me know what else you want to know about Forerunner. But for now, I just want to show you my newest rendering and I'll continue to work on all the information to do with the new Forerunner.